The Omaha Public Power District says it underestimated the damage from the historic storm, leading to people getting their power back on later than originally estimated. Thank you for joining us. I'm Quinesia Fraser. I'm Bill Shermer. The LPPD Board of Directors met for the first time today since that storm on July 31st. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLuhan is live with the lessons learned. Alex. Yeah, Bill Quinesia, most of the restoration is complete at this point, but this storm left a lot of debris and a list of lessons. OPPD says that includes advances to home meters as well as the information it shares with customers. Lessons learned and what's in store. OPPD's Board of Directors meeting Tuesday for the first time since intense thunderstorms cut power to 221,000 customers and left damage estimated at $30 million. We are working on FEMA recovery efforts as we speak. Hurricane force winds sliced utility poles, requiring hours of cleanup by thousands of workers. Our customer care team members, those who might be on the phone, handled 172% more calls during our week of restoration. Board members also sharing what went wrong. The utility saying it based initial estimated restoration times based on information from the now second largest storm in July of 2021. This year, crews discovered destruction worse than expected. Significant more damage than what we had saw in 21. Crews found more damaged cross arms, transformers, fuses, and poles, forcing a second round of robocalls and a shift in estimated restorations for residents waiting through the August heat. A lot of the work was in backyards, a lot of climbing. We couldn't get our trucks and machinery to every pole. Most of the restoration now complete and efforts are underway to upgrade information and data shared with the public. All of that is coming. The CEO also doubling down on upgrades. Officials are still looking at placing some lines underground and installing advanced meters at homes, which will report outages directly to OPPD. We will begin deploying those uh, just in the next few months. And we'll, we're gonna be busy. The next couple of years, we're going to be busy replacing all 400,000 plus meters in our service territory with, with modern meters. The storm long gone, but OPPD board members expect to share more updates from the storm and its future efforts in the coming months. Reporting live, Alex McLoon, KETV, Newswatch 7.